Can you give me an example? I mean, I know you can't use names or anything like that, but give me an example that would help us to illustrate this for the audience where, you know, if you had a specific type of case where someone comes in about a certain drug and they weren't able to get it or you weren't able to give it, I guess it's, it's such a, a dicey situation. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, we've had a patient that has been coming in to uh, one of our pharmacies for about two years now. He gets um, a medication to control um, antipsychotic behavior, for lack okay. of a better term. And our pharmacists are uh, certified to administer that medication in the pharmacy. Um, it's not one that the patient injects themselves. It, it needs a, a nurse or a pharmacist or a doctor to administer. And our pharmacist okay. went and got special training to do that. Uh, we've been taking care of this patient for years. But in January, when we submitted that claim to his PBM, uh, they were going to pay us $100 less than it cost us to buy it. Mm. So this is a drug that took um, increased uh, effort to dispense. It took more pharmacist time to dispense. Mm -hmm. It was an expensive drug already costing $1,500 a month. And in this situation, we had to call that patient who we knew and cared about. Yeah. Um, he was successfully being treated uh, with this drug um, and had to say he had to go to another pharmacy. It was beyond our control in that situation. That's tough. I mean, it's it goes beyond another type of business where you can say, hey, sorry, we're out of that product to, hey, we've been caring for this patient for months or even a lot of times, probably years. And now we have to say no to a person who their well-being is attached to this product. Um, I can't imagine having to do that. I mean, I'm in the business of marketing and video and consulting and stuff like that. We're not, you know, we're not curing cancer over here. You know, we're we're just making people feel good and hopefully compelling them to make a decision, you know, that's different than another one. So I can't imagine having to turn away somebody. And if you were to turn that pro or probably in that case, you had to turn that person away. Where would they go? Where would they go to get that drug if they can't get it from you? So the, the patient initially tried to go to another independent pharmacy um, that was in a, another town nearby, about 30 minute drive, that also uh, has pharmacists that are trained and willing to administer that kind of mm -hmm. drug. Um, and that pharmacy called us, transferred the prescription, and when they when they also adjudicated that claim, um, and sent it to the PBM. They also realized, oh, I, I would be losing money on this as well. I can't, yeah. I can't dispense this. Right. Um, so the patient's family called us back, um, saying, "What do we do?" And so we said, um, "Take it to a chain, and then bring it to us." And we worked out a price where they could still pay us to administer it mm -hmm. um, to them. Um, and so in that case. It was an inconvenience to the patient, mm -hmm. um, but we did the best we could in a bad situation. 